Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Michael and today I got a brand new video for you guys. It's going to be an amazing one. It's about Facebook advertising. It's basically a complete beginner to expert training, an A to B training, guys. Um, everything you have to know about Facebook ads, it's all in there. You don't have to know anything else. It's all in this free video right here, right? It gives you an overview of the whole thing and what you have to do in order to succeed uh, with Facebook ads, running Facebook ads at the 6x to 8x ROI. So be sure to check out this video right here. Also, be sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe if you like this video. In this video, especially in this one, there's gonna be a lot of value. So be sure to check it out, watch the full thing. It's gonna be awesome, guys. So be sure to watch it, enjoy it, and let's get started right now. Okay, guys, let's get straight into it right here. Facebook Ads Guide 2018, become a Facebook Ads Expert. And I'm making this little guide, this, this video right here, this tutorial for you guys, uh, to really give you an insight uh, to really show you how Facebook ads actually work because I think on YouTube there's a lot of misinformation out there there's a lot of people showing you specific stuff making videos showing you uh, how to run Facebook ads here and there for whatever they're selling but it's it, it's almost never like really a full guide a, a start to finish an A to B training kind of thing right most people just show you specific things that they've done for example they've they ran a Facebook Ad for ten bucks, and 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 due to luck or due to some circumstance or whatever, they made a few hundred dollars back, and then they claim to be an expert and whatnot. But I want to show you the real deal right here. I want to show you the actual thing from start to finish. What you have to know about Facebook ads. I will give you everything that I know in this video and not everything to be honest because I of course can't put all my knowledge that I have uh, about Facebook ads into one uh, 20, 30 or 40 minute video on YouTube. But this thing right here will be kind of like an actual webinar kind of thing with pure content, pure uh, value for you guys um, straight right here on YouTube. So what I want to show you in this tutorial right here is first of all, what's the purpose of this whole thing, right? I want to uh, be teaching you guys. I want to be showing you guys mm, the whole Facebook ads thing from start to finish, meaning everything that in my opinion, you have to know. Okay. And I will purposely leave everything out that you have to not know because I only want to show you guys really hands on what you actually have to know when it comes to Facebook ads. And I will guide you through the whole thing practically with practical examples. I will go into my actual Facebook ads account and show you my own personal ads that I've been running. I will show you how they look and, and how I did it and how I really run these ads at like a, a seven, uh, a six to like eight X ROI. ROI, ROI means return on investment, meaning if I spend a dollar, how to make like six or eight dollars back. Okay. So of course, there's many, many different things that you can use Facebook ads for. And I will be talking about in this tutorial right here. Okay. So what I'm going to cover in this free guide right here are the following things, right? I want to be talking about what Facebook ads are really for, right? Meaning what are Facebook ads or what sh Facebook ads should be really used for because there's also a big misconception right here on YouTube, especially on YouTube and stuff where people just uh, make it seem as if Facebook ads are only for selling stuff directly, for example, right? So for example, people have like a drop shipping store or sell uh, some other product online and they just teach you how to how to like do some research in order to to find out what kind of audiences could like that product and then simply link people to this product and then they buy it. Of course, this is something that you can do but this is probably only 5% of what Facebook ads normally are used for, especially when you talk about high returns. This is never what Facebook ads are used for because if everything goes all right, if you're direct linking to a product, you might get a 2x or 3x ROI. You might get, you might spend 50 bucks and make 100 back and that would already be the perfect scenario, right? But if people like me who run Facebook ads for uh, thousands of thousands, make tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars back, this is not how it works. And I will show you exactly how it's done for real, okay? I will be talking about 
Facebook pixels and Facebook retargeting. I will explain how retargeting works and how important it is and how to set everything up. Uh, I will talk about custom audiences. I will tell you the deal with that. Um, I will also be talking about the importance of custom conversions, how to track everything, how to create conversions on your website, uh, how to run Facebook ads on a small budget. This this should be very interesting for you guys starting out uh, and get high returns at, as I already said, 6x or even 8x ROI. But if you're already experienced or already have some experience with Facebook ads, it doesn't have to be like, you don't have to be like super, uh, super successful with Facebook advertising already. I mean, if you're running, if you if you were running some ads here and there and saw some positive positive re returns, uh, some positive results, I will show you how to easily scale Facebook ads up to a thousand dollars or more every single day, and still uh, retain a good return. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So what you guys have to understand is that a lot of people talk about uh, Facebook ads and they talk about uh, selling stuff, right? But I wanna be talking about, I wanna tell you guys that what Facebook ads are mostly not for is to directly um, directly sell a product, right? This is what they're 100% not for in most cases, right? I mean, yes, you can run Facebook ads to drop shipping stores or any other site like this, e-commerce sites, but that's normally not how a normal person or normal business running Facebook ads is actually making money, okay? Unless they can spend money uh, simply and, and don't get a, a, a massive high return directly, that's what they do, but normally that's not what we wanna focus on. What we wanna focus on is simply lead generation, right? Lead generation uh, means to generate leads for your business uh, that you can later on follow up and make more money in the back end. But for example, this could be webinar signups, this could be signups uh, for your email list by offering them some free value or something. Um, and, and you always see that when you look at ads on Facebook, most of the ads that you're seeing, people will not directly try to sell you something. If you see one of my ads or other ads, it's either a video or a picture ad. And we either invite you to either a webinar where we later on sell you something or um, a prod a specific landing page where we give you something for free and in order uh, to get your email list in order to uh, then later up follow up on you and, and sell you more stuff okay so as you can see right here one of my ads right here uh, this is one ad that I've been running last month for something. Most of you guys have probably seen this one. This is a pretty successful one I've been running. Uh, this is the uh, add to one of my webinars right here to the video marketing agency uh, webinar, how to get business to pay you $1,000, $2,000 per month for ranking the YouTube videos. Um, and, and this ad is pretty awesome right here because this has a nice, it has a nice pig and then it has a nice uh, kind of headline kind of thing, creative uh, you plus your agency is, and then I show money and stuff. And this really makes people want to click here and then come to the page, sign up for the webinar and check this stuff out, right? If I just put this right here and said, uh, and this is something a lot of people make do wrong when they first start out. Let's say I want to sell a course, right? Many people would have done it, and I've done it in the past too, like make an ad about the course directly and then link people uh, to the to sales page of the course and then try to sell it. Of course, you will make sales, but most likely in most cases, you will not break even, right? You probably pay $100 and make $50 or $60 back, depending on, on, on how, how much your course is, okay? And of course, if a course is uh, even higher priced, you have to spend more money on ads anyway, so it will not break even, okay? So what happens right here is, people really engage with this content and they they like they they get curious and that's why they click on it because you have to remember people on facebook no one co comes to facebook and is like oh i i i want to see someone selling me a course i want to see someone selling me a product this is not uh, how it normally works okay the only time this works is when you sell products consumer based products like like stuff that people just buy anyways and then then they see it on Facebook that's why drop shipping and stuff works still with direct linking from Facebook to the product page because these are proven to to be sold products and uh, when you sell your own stuff though this will not work okay so what you in 99% of the case what you want to use Facebook ads for is uh, is lead generation or 
um, uh, yeah, lead generation basically. That's what it basically is all about, okay? So what happens right here is guys, um, the main, you have to be able to combine the dots, right? You have to be able um, to understand that it's not just setting up like one ad and then uh, uh, make money right away, right? So what, what Facebook ads is all about uh, when you when you really break it down, it's about creating an audience and then sending ads to this audience. Okay, what happens though is you can choose: Do you want to create an audience using Facebook? Meaning, do you want to get people who don't know you yet in order to get them into an audience on Facebook, or do you want to simply use your existing audience that you either have through email lists? or website traffic and then retargeted them. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Of course, if you create an audience from scratch by paying Facebook uh, to, to generate traffic for you, it will be met much uh, uh, harder and, and more cost uh, and more more expensive of course but that's just the way it is okay by the way this whole audience creation stuff and follow and, and retarget them this is not how this is not just how facebook ads work but this is how online marketing works in general same with google adwords and youtube everything you build up the audience and then you remarket to them sending them ads right because that way you will get you have highly targeted people in your audience and that's how you it's how you can generate leads and sales on a on, on a very uh, effective and in a very effective way with high returns okay so let's just what really happens right here is when we go to one of our sites right here for example to millionaire uh, when we go to the site right here it's simply it's simply a page right so right now we have a webinar thing right here that I'm hosting um, but as you can see right here we got a Facebook pixel installed on this page Facebook pixel of course is and you see this on many many websites most websites out there have this on their page right when you have a little tool right here called Facebook pixel helper right here when you have that uh, installed in your Google Chrome browser for example uh, it will show you uh, that the Facebook ads pixel is installed so what that means is that this website owner right here has the opportunity to track everything you do on this page and track your behavior and especially build an audience um, uh, of you or all the website users on this page. Right here. So for example, if I get a thousand people on here on this page, I have them in an audience on Facebook, right? I have them in my audience manager right here to millionaire. I, I called one of these audiences right here and that will be the uh, audience of this website right here, right? So what happens right here is you have all these people in this audience and then you can send them ads, right? So now you might ask yourself, how do you get, uh, and how do you get the traffic to this page right here? Of course, obviously this depends on your traffic, right? So for example, I got a lot of people from YouTube. I also do get a lot of people from Facebook organically in groups, but also uh, from Facebook ads and stuff. But there's many, many different ways on how to get traffic to your page. So if you want to do remarketing on Facebook, and if you don't get if you don't have any traffic yet, again, as I said, you can use Facebook ads for cold traffic, I will show you in a second how to uh, create these ads. But of course, you should never just rely on one traffic source. So if you're interested in generating draft traffic and stuff, be sure to check out one of my other videos where I explained that. But when it comes to retargeting and stuff, this is the way to go. You got to put your Facebook ads pixel on the, on your actual page. And that's basically the essential thing that you have to do in order to be able to retarget, right? So how do you do this? Is simply when you're in your audience manager on your Facebook ads uh, account right here, you simply click create audience, custom audience. And then you click website traffic, right? And then you would simply choose 180 days because that's the maximum you can do. And then you would simply, um, then you have the opportunity to um, select people who, specific, who who visited specific web pages of your site. So this is great, for example, also if you have an e-commerce store to only track specific people who visited specific pages on your site. For example, if you have different product pages, right? So for example, I have different, let's say for this example right here for this page, uh, I have different courses, right? So for example, I have an, a video marketing agency course, I got a tube millionaire course, and I got the Facebook ads mastery course, right? By the way, check this Facebook ads mastery course out, link is in the description, it's a pretty amazing course, okay? It's way more insights, very technical, extremely awesome, okay? So what you wanna do is, of course, I don't wanna track 
everything, every single site under one audience because I will send different ads to different people from different audiences, right? So I will create a specific page. Uh, since all of my courses and stuff, they have different landing pages. I will create a different audience for each landing page, right? Once this is done, you simply have to copy and paste this in here. And once this is done, Facebook will automatically populate this audience. It will take a few days and then you will already have an audience to remarket to, okay? So this is the essential thing when it comes to uh, Facebook retargeting and Facebook pixel thing, okay? I made a video in the past on how to create the Facebook pixel and put it on your website in detail and all kinds of stuff, right? So be sure to check this out. I might also create a playlist uh, of all the Facebook videos that I got, Facebook ads videos, so you can check this out right here on the right side or something where the playlist is at, okay? Um, next thing would be custom audiences, right? Custom audiences are very, very important um, because this is, uh, you need audiences to, 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 to send ads to, right? And custom audience, again, can be everything. They can be uh, out of remarketing, out of retargeting, meaning people on your website. They can be uh, from email lists. So most of you guys will probably already have an existing email list. So what you wanna do is you just got your list. You wanna upload it to Facebook. It's the same process right here, guys. It's the same process, it's really straightforward. Just go here, click custom audience, and then you uh, put a custom file in here and here you already have the import option for MailChimp or you can simply copy and paste your emails in there and it will create an audience, okay? This is real simple to do and it's real easy, okay? What custom audience are also great for is to create lookalike audience, okay? When we have lookalike audiences right here, some of you guys probably don't know what it is, but lookalike audiences are audiences that are created by Facebook just on a larger scale. So let's say you have a, for example, a remarketing audience of like a thousand people. So what happens if you want a million people, right? All you do is you type in right here, your audience, for example, TM, which stands for two millionaire in my case, and you search for the location, for example, United States, and then you just choose how many, how big your audience should be. I would suggest to do like two million or something because if it's too big, it just gets too, um, too general and stuff. But what they will do is Facebook will analyze your data of your of the people who visited your website or who were, are in your email list, and it will analyze the data and check on Facebook if they have people who are similar to that, and then they will create an audience based on your data um, using Facebook's data, and then they will. Uh, actually create an audience for you so you have a bigger audience to do that. So what I highly recommend you guys to do is to start with remarketing on Facebook, then create a lookalike audience based on that and then run ads to them in order to even further your audience and nurture the new people that you find and send them to your website again. So you can later on again do remarketing. You know what I'm saying? So this is very this is a very important thing to do rather than just going out there and, and trying to get new fa new people using Facebook ads and Facebook uh, cold traffic, basically cold, tra cold ads, um, you should do remarketing and then on that build a uh, uh, custom audience and that's basically how you should do it, okay? And, and this is basically all you have to know uh, what I already explained to you guys when it comes to Facebook ads. Don't make it too over complicated. Don't think too much about it. It's all just about creating an audience, uh, sending ads to that audience. And now you have to ask yourself, how, to, how do you, you create these audiences, right? So for example, remarketing, getting people, people you already have on your site or in your email list is one part of the audience creation. And then of course, um, creating new custom audience by, for example, creating lookalike audience, right? Don't make it too complicated, okay? So the importance of custom conversions, guys, um, custom conversions are actions people perform on your site. So for example, got this site right here, right? Got the webinar right here. Um, if someone clicks register now, and types in his stuff and then goes to the next page, that means he registered for a webinar. So what happens is, or what I've done is, I created a custom audience, a custom conversion right here uh, for this webinar, for example, and all you have to do is, in order to do that, 
for example, if you're selling something, you always have a thank you page on your site, right? So if you have a thank you page on your site, you wanna copy and paste that in here, create this custom conversion, Facebook allows you to do that, they track that, and whenever someone signs up, Facebook will notice that, and as you can see right here, they will send a specific um, uh, notification to Facebook, to your Facebook ads account, and it tracks it that you, you actually had a conversion going on, right? So, and then you, of course, in your actual advertising, you can see how much money you pay for this conversion, right? So I can see exactly how much money do I pay for every person who signs up right here, and that allows me to really track this stuff and to really be able to know exactly how much money I spend and how much money I get back, right? So for example, in a webinar, in a webinar, I sell something for let's say uh, 200 or $300. Um, if I know how much money I pay Facebook to get a specific person into the webinar, and if I know how much that person on average is gonna pay me, let's say for example, on average, um, a person uh, is paying me uh, $10. Every, every, website, every webinar visitor is worth $10. That means if I pay $2 on Facebook for a, a conversion, that's already highly profitable, right? Because everyone is, is worth 10 bucks. Uh, if I, once I have enough data to, to, to say that, well, let's say once I, I had 100 people in there, I can tell how much money I made through with these 100 people. Then I see exactly how much money I'm able to run, uh, spend on Facebook in order to um, get traffic, right? In order to, to, to get these signups, right? And then there's also a lot of stuff in the back end happening uh, where, you, where you also have to track when people sign up for more of your stuff, like your softwares and all kinds of stuff, or in my case, of course, softwares, and that increases the ROI, right? It just increases the ROI. Um, so in order to uh, uh, break it down again, uh, once you got your audience, once you got your, and remember, this is just, of course, this this guide only uh, right here will not 100% make you, make you ready uh, to to fully go all out on Facebook ads, it will require some more training, some more expertise, and some more uh, trial and error stuff, of course, right? But this guide is perfect right here to give you an overview of what's important and what's not important, okay? And to summarize again, all you have to do is create an audience, get an audience, and then make sure uh, that you focus on lead generation. Uh, create your custom conversions, get everything up and ready, and then you're ready to start your first ads, right? That you're, then you're ready to run your first ads and create them. And I will guide you real quick right now through an ad uh, that I created, or that I will guide you through it creating a new ad so you see exactly how it goes with an example that I've done in the past, or basically a template that I almost always use for my ads right now, which works pretty well, okay? So now let me show you guys how to create an ad on Facebook that you can simply run with a small budget of $10 and get high return 6x, 8x ROIs, right? Easy, you should be able to do this uh, if you do it right, okay? What you have to have though is a product. This this uh, service right here, uh, sorry, this guide right here is of course not for people who have not who have not at all nothing going on. Okay, so if you have a product, if you want to make some money with that, you either create a product or you leave it. You have to create something. Doesn't matter if it's consulting or an info product or uh, whatever kind of product. You need to do something. Okay, you can't just run Facebook ads and, and have nothing going on. Okay, so what you want to do is. Um, when you when you're in your ads manager right here, uh, you have different things to uh, to choose from, right? You have awareness, brand awareness, reach. This is something we will never even look at, uh, never even care about this. This is for big companies, with big corp corporations like Coca Cola, who don't care uh, if if, you, if they make a, a, a direct return on their investment. What we doing, what we're doing right here is direct response, direct response marketing, basically. So what we will do is, uh, we need direct response. We will we will need direct action from people who see our ad we will read we will need almost direct payments to make money in order to get our money back okay so what we want to choose from is i will get straight into it i will not talk about you know not talk around these other things and explain these things i do all of this in my in my course and stuff but what i want to show you is we have to focus on conversions right so with the example of the webinar for example okay i gotta take this example right now because obviously i have to have 
an example when I show you this, okay? So we have a webinar right here, um, to millionaire uh, slash VMA. This is the uh, webinar page for one of our webinars. Um, let's say we wanted to create an ad to get more people to sign up right here, right? And this is golden stuff, by the way. This is golden stuff. I it took me ages to figure out how to all how to do all of this stuff, right? So this is pretty awesome to have this in this free video right here, okay? All we have to do is conversions, and most of the time I call it something like uh, VMA webinar, just and then you want to. Uh, uh, say what it's actually for. So if you're in the in the in your ads manager, you remember what kind of ad this is. Okay. So for example, if we have a picture ad, picture ad, um, and we want to target people on Facebook, not on Instagram and stuff. Facebook, and for example, let's make this ad for the desktop. Okay. They also have mobile ads and stuff, but right now we want to talk about desktop ads. Um, and then we want to choose the audience, of course. That's what we want to also put in the title of the ad so we remember that. Um, I would choose, for example, TM to millionaire retargeted. Or, of course, depending on whatever audience you have, if you have an email list, again, um, you can choose that. Or if you have, uh, if you just want to target cold people, that's kind of different. But um, yeah, this would be it retargeted. And in, in the first section right here, you can choose the uh, conversion. Uh, in this case, it would be VMA webinar sign up. Uh, this is kind of, don't worry, this is kind of messed up right now in my ads manager because we changed the link of the sign up thing because we played around with the new version of webinar jam and, and whatever kind of, how is that called right now? So it, it didn't get any data right now because the link was changed, but that just happened like a few days ago, we still have to change the link and stuff. So don't worry, but that's that would be it. Um, the conversion is set. And then what you wanna do is you simply wanna choose the countries that you wanna target. For example, United States. I don't wanna play around with this unnecessary, unnecessary stuff uh, too much right here, but that's basically what you wanna do. Um, and of course your custom audience. And in this case, I always choose like 21 to like 50, not to discriminate anyone, but normally when, when it's about products like these right here, um, everything under 21 is probably, they probably don't even have the money yet to, to pay for it. Everything above uh, 50, they're probably not that much into it. I also have clients who are way over 50, but it's kind of like an exception and stuff, okay? Um, Detail targeting is not necessary with uh, remarketing in normal cases, unless you have an, a huge audience of millions of people. Um, Instagram, delete this, let's just do desktop right here. And I normally start my ads at like 25 bucks, which is 20 euros uh, per, um, for the first ad before I scale. Um, and then simply, there's also a lot of other stuff. By the way, I teach all of this stuff in my course, like in detail, all of these small things and stuff. So I don't wanna go into this in this video right here, but it's basically how it works. And again, if you ask yourself, if you don't even have an audience yet or something like a remarketing audience, and if you don't have an email list yet, I mean, you, 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 you have to get traffic first, guys, okay? So what you have to do is after you've done that is you continue, right? And I, by the way, I assume most of the people watching this who are really about online marketing have some traffic going on. If you don't have traffic, I mean, what you guys doing, huh? Um, so next thing you wanna do is you are in the uh, ad thing right here, right? You're in the, the last few steps right here. So you wanna just put your website URL and um, then you wanna choose a picture and by the way, these things are all, I, I, I can't, um, I can't tell you everything, okay? I can't, uh, this is something you have to figure out for yourself, what picture to use and all kinds of things, right? Because obviously that's different for, for every business and for every person, right? I mean, this is just what I do. And the purpose of this video is just to show you what I do so you can replicate it and copy it in a way uh, and put it on your own business because that's what I learned um, the way I learned to do all these things was not by somebody trying to figure out what I do and show me blah, blah, blah. I just looked at what other guys did for themselves and then copied it and replicated it 
and model it and, and, and transfer it into my own business and my own thing and what I do, right? That's the only way you can learn it. Like, otherwise, you, you can't learn it any, way, any other way, okay? This is how we do it. So this video right here, I hope this really helps you guys, okay? And as I've already shown you in the other ad, um, then I would put my, uh, my my text right here that I got where I base I can't fill this out right now all, all of the stuff but what I will basically talk about is uh, the benefits of this webinar what I will talk about how to create a business how to start your own video marketing agency why this is so important why this is so amazing and basically you get the idea give them a whole run through of the whole thing like why they would sign up for this right so then you right here you would simply uh, say how to get businesses to pay you or whatever your webinar or whatever you want to teach or whatever you want to show is about uh, the 1k per month and then that's basically it right then you then when they click right here they go to the webinar page and then you have then you can track everything right this is how you how you set up a Facebook ad for remarketing and again don't don't overcomplicate things because when people see the value in things they are easy they would they will click this stuff don't i know copywriting is important and it's great and it's good but first of all be, the best copy doesn't fix your shitty product okay the best copy doesn't fix something that people don't care about you know the very very first thing that you have to understand is when you're trying to sell something especially online is that people have to care about the stuff in the first place if they you, you can't most likely you can't just go out there and convince them to do for something brand new right they need to be able to care they need to already know basically or care about something like for example with this one right here the reason why this is one of my 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 best selling products the video marketing agency program is because people see the value right people know I don't even have to do that much, right? I said, just say, how to get businesses to pay one to $2,000 per month. That's what I teach them. And then they say, boom, yeah, value is clear, right? So I sign up for this stuff, right? If I came to them and told them about something like how to maybe make some money uh, doing some Facebook, blah, 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 here, some, some Twitter ads or whatever, they don't care about this stuff. They wouldn't click anything, okay? So the, the main thing that you have to understand is that ads and everything that's great but but the value has to be clear first okay so then you can easily generate traffic doing this stuff okay um so and then you would simply uh click complete and then they, then you would run this ad and what you would then do and i'll teach all this stuff in my course is simply go ahead and track your data track how many converts look at how many conversions you got how many people signed up look how much money you made and then go back and readjust your ad for example if you if you run this ad right now and you see you pay five dollars per conversion you want to change your ad up a little bit maybe you want to change the picture want to change the text here and there to get better returns but this is this is something that's more like um this is more advanced stuff and and, and uh that, that's that where where i would need more time to actually explain this stuff than in free uh youtube video right here okay so how to scale uh facebook ads to a thousand dollars a day um pretty simple most ads um of course if you do remarketing you're basically limited to your audience that you already have right that's that's pretty pretty uh basic it's pretty obvious right if you have an audience of like a, a hundred thousand people you can only reach a hundred thousand people okay so that's why in order to uh scale it to a thousand a day you need to either create these uh, custom audiences uh for uh look alike i mean look like audiences that's you can scale or you need to simply create ads um based on interests of of these people and then target them right i teach all of this stuff in my course but of course be prepared to spend more money that way because obviously it's harder because people have never heard of you right so this is what facebook ads can do you can create a big business using facebook ads you can drive tons of traffic using them it's not the only thing i use most likely mostly i care about youtube uh 
mostly I use YouTube in combination with Facebook and, and it's basically that's how it works. I did a lot of tutorials about YouTube already. Um, but there's people out there who literally just use Facebook ads and webinars, for example, and make a killing doing that only. Of course you can, I just love doing YouTube too, but of course you can just rely on Facebook too if you want that, okay? Uh, so I hope you uh, like this tutorial, this uh, little guide right here. Um, this is basically, again, the purpose of this guide was to show you exactly what Facebook ads are for and, and how to use them. And I just show you that in this tutorial. And that's really all there is to it, right? This is how, this is, this, you don't need, if you want to, if you, uh, if you have a question, I mean, if you have, if you know someone who doesn't know anything about Facebook ads yet, show them this video because this is really all you have to know. Then you just got to do it. Okay, then you just got to learn all of these other smaller things in there um, in order to really succeed. Okay, so yeah, be sure to check out my free material that I got right here for you guys also on YouTube and the playlist and stuff and check more stuff out. And be sure, of course, to like and subscribe and see you soon.